Well, some good news there for people seeking jobs in Machakos County as well as Nairobi. Getting quality office space in urban Kenya has been a preserve for companies that have the financial muscle to foot the bill, leaving small businesses to operate briefcase offices. On this week's episode of The Adventurer, KTN's Charles Gitonga speaks to Hannah Clifford of Nairobi Garage, whose business is making up to 5.5 million shillings in annual profit out of leasing office space to startups at below market price rates. A recent survey by GSMA found out that about 70% of startups in Kenya are not earning enough to meet for the most pressing needs such as an office. Today we visit the Nairobi Garage who have found a niche in making sure that small businesses can meet such a need at the lowest cost possible. My name is Hannah Clifford and I'm the general manager at Nairobi Garage. The Nairobi Garage um, is basically a co-working space for, for young companies or for companies that, are, that maybe want to work in a, in a different kind of style of, of working. Um, we basically provide desk space um, <clears throat> within our office, uh, within this, this large space. We basically um, allow people to come and sit and use the facilities and basically run their operations from, from this space. I think a space like this really helps because you know, not only do you, you don't have to put down a huge deposit or invest in uh, furniture or invest in, uh, you know, a lot of equipment. Everything's here set up already. So you can just come in, you know, there's tea and coffee provided, like, you know, storage, everything is provided for you. You just bring your laptop and then you're good to go. So we have around 30 companies that are here at the moment. Um, and they range from uh, companies that are basically sole trader or um, a freelancer up to larger teams of like 10 to 15 people. So there's around 100 people in here at the moment. We charge 15,000 shillings plus VAT per month um, and that gives you 24 hours access to the space. You get your own desk space, um, you get access to the meeting rooms, um, tea and coffee, storage um, and, and of course internet. Um, and I think, um, so I think that's like a really good deal. I mean, if, especially if you're one person, you're not really going to be able to find an office that's kitted out for 15,000. And even when you start to get like larger numbers, I mean, of course, like the economics mean that once you get above sort of 10 people, you could, you're probably now starting to, to get to the cost. Maybe it makes more sense to have your own office. The fact that we're charging. Um, means that you, you don't really find the very, very early stage startups here. They tend to still not be at a stage where they can, you know, even afford like uh, to have office space. They have, you know, they have things that they would rather spend their money on when they're starting up. So I would say like most of the companies here are plus, oh, a, a year plus of age. It costs around 1.5 million a month to run this place. Um, so we cover our expenses and then at the end of the day we maybe have like $5,000 profit. We've learned a lot about um, keeping things as simple as possible, keeping operations like as lean as possible um, and really focusing on like the bottom line, like what are things that people want, what is it worth investing in that's, that actually people are willing to pay for. And Securing affordable and efficient office space is definitely one of the initial steps towards transforming that idea into a business. And as Scott Belsky said, it's not about the ideas, it's about making the ideas work. Charles Gitonga for The Adventurer.